Okay, before we go further here, I just want to ask, <clears throat> excuse me, I just want you to ask yourself a very simple question. Do you want to sit there and learn how to write code, time-consuming code, or do you want to learn how to make money? If you want to learn how to make money with web design techniques, benefit from Dreamer's interface, and also benefit from my training tutorials. I make things so simple. My projects are sophisticated in their simplicity. I make things so simple that are sophisticated. Okay, so I just want to talk about a few things here to move forward. Okay, so as an example, as you've learned before in previous videos, if you want to make these link tags, I'm simply going to double click and put in the pound symbol. So I'm going to come down here and put in the pound symbol. Now, putting in the pound symbol is because the page is a design page. What just happened there? That was very strange. That was very strange that it did that. Okay, so again, for placeholder text, you simply double click and put in the pound symbol. If you put anything but the pound symbol right now, it's going to look for a page with that name. So we just wanted to find these hyperlinks, this text here, which is a list item, list item here as a hyperlink. We do that by putting in the pound symbol. You can do the same thing for photos and pictures too. You can make photos a hyperlink by putting in the pound symbol. Now, eventually, of course, we're going to put in the real life address, the URL address to that particular website. But for design purposes, we're going to put in the pound symbol because the page is not ready yet to create the other pages. Now, what I want to talk about here is the title tag attribute. Do not confuse the title tag attribute with the title tag inside the site. As an example, like in my code right now, this up here on the top is the title tag. This is the title tag for the site. This is where the title goes for search engine purposes. You could put up to 123 characters up here, including space. I am talking about the title tag attribute. So as an example, I'm going to select, say, this paragraph, P for paragraph. Now, it's always been here. It's always been here, whether or not you use it or not. Now, what the title tag attribute can be used for is making things more descriptive for search engine purposes without filling that content on the page. As an example, let's say this is a description tag for a company. So we could title this paragraph tag company info. So I'm going to come down here to the title properties here. And it's other title properties. Okay, so the title attribute, again, not to be confused with the title tag, is how I can title information. So say as an example that this content right here, or the P for paragraph tag, I get to select the tag. I want to give this a title information. So I can say that this is a more info on ABC company, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Spelling sometimes helps. Okay, so now that title tag, if you look at your code for a second, you will see that that paragraph has a title. Any tag can have a title. Any tag can have a title. Okay, so in this particular case here, uh oh, this is strange. It put in the A tag. I don't want to put the A tag here. I just want to put the title tag. So somehow Dream Giver screwed up here. Okay. So I'm just going to put in the title tag information. Okay. Now, if you want to do this from scratch as an example, let's say I want to do a title for my header, for my logo. So let's just change this text right here to the name of our site. Okay. So make a change, save a change. So if you, you do that from the property palette inside of Dreamweaver, you can also do it very simply from the code by doing this from scratch. Now, of course, I say no hand coding, but this is very, very simple. I just want you to share with you how I can give something an ID tag or I can give something a title. Title tag doesn't appear on the page. Title tag comes up in search engine, so it's more descriptive for that particular tag. So here's how it works. I put my cursor next to any tag. P for paragraph, H tag, strong tag, et cetera, et cetera. Hit the space bar. Then I type in T-I-T. -T. Automatically comes up here. Title. And it's going to say what you want to call this title. So for 
More descriptive information about this title for search engine purposes, it doesn't appear on the page. This is for search engine purposes. So the title is going to be more to think of Adobe software thinks. Okay, so that's the title. That's the title for my H1 tag. So any tag can have a title and it comes up in search engines. It's a very, very powerful technique here. Now, what just happened here? Title. Oh. So that's how a title tag, title tag attribute works for search engines for anything on the site. Now, important step. If you do a title tag for a anchor tag, you get more features here. Watch what happens. So let's say this is my about hyperlink. Now, I don't want to make my hyperlink a best to say about my super duper website. I just want to say about or about us. So for the title information for that particular tag, I can say whatever I want to say about, you know, uh, let's do free Adobe training tutorials. So again, that took the code and put the code inside the title tag. In this particular case, it's titled an A tag. The A tag has been titled. Now here's the super, super, super cool part. Not only does more description information go inside the title tag for search engine purposes, but watch what happens if I put this inside of a browser. Okay, so if I move my cursor, move my cursor over that, okay, there's my title tag information that's going to pop up right there. This is a tool tip, okay? So you can get your tool tips pop up for the HTML hyperlink tags. Now for the title information, it's inside the title information, it's inside the code here, for the paragraph with H1 tag, H2 tag, but that's for search engine purposes. It's buried on the page that the spiders, the web crawlers pick up. But if you do a title tag for your, if you do a title tag for your hyperlinks, you get these little tool tips pop up. So basically the information is now shared to the viewer, whoever's going to your site. So wherever you click, wherever you move the mouse, that's gonna show you the pop-up information for more information for that tag. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So let's continue with our next video.